Hey everybody and welcome back to the weekly vlog. Today we're going to be talking about the schedule for uploads as always, the casual streams which I did a ton of last week, and also my new graphics card. First for the schedule, for 3pm on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we have Resident Evil Outbreak 2, or File 2, um, very short playthrough actually, um, so I figured I may as well just get that up now, now that you guys have had a bit of the Pokemon. Tuesday and Thursday we have more Factorio with Truth. Saturday and Sunday, more Crusader Kings 2. And for 6 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday, Crusader Kings 2, as well as the casual streams last week of Bigfoot and Far Cry 5. I'm gonna try and get the casual streams on the schedule more, just so you know when the uh, uploads of them are going to be, but sometimes they'll be the week of, and thus I can't upload the schedule in time, and you'll just be getting bonus stuff. And of course, on Sunday, we are streaming Crusader Kings 2 at 4 p.m., as well as just streaming whatever random days we feel like. So for the casual streams, uh, I've been doing a bunch of casual streams this week. I did XCOM 2 a bunch, as you saw. I already uploaded those. Um, I did some Far Cry 5 and some Bigfoot with Brandon. Those are uploading this week. And I want to do a lot more casual streams like that, because I've been having just tons of fun with it, and it seems like you guys are having a lot of fun with it as well. Um, I am held back very slightly, which should be fixed soon, in graphics card problems, which I'll be talking about very soon, uh, but thankfully I am working on fixing those. Also, just as a reminder, if you want to support the show, I have Amazon affiliate links in the description where you can just buy anything you were any already going to buy on Amazon, and uh, I get commission off of it. Patreon shoutouts for everybody pledging $10 and above on Patreon are Ghazali, Mad Librarian, Fiery Biscuit, Zandak, Toko Man, Play Bogart, Night Fury 15, The Jed Star, Jetstream, Konk Donk, Sophia Orr, Kill Rain, Wolf 20 KO, One Safi Siren, Shauna, Tim, Curran Ketta, Lemonhead, Morgan, Disaster, Josh Brown, Emeth, Thy Lord Castile, and Annoying Wizard, thank you so much for your continued support. So I have a new graphics card, it's on its way right now. Uh, well, actually, it's in packing right now. I ordered it on Saturday and Monday. I'm actually recording this the day before right now because I'm going to be out most of Monday at my sister's place playing Talisman, the board game with her and my mom. Uh, but Monday is a holiday in Canada, and so it might pack that day and ship. It might not. We don't really know. Uh, but chances are I will get the graphics card sometime during this week. Um, it is the GTX 1080, and I got it because it has really good reviews. The um, benchmarks on it from what I'm looking up online are a, a good amount better than my current GTX 980, which I've had for four years, and it's starting to really slow down with use. Um, and I found a coupon online, and there was a sale going on, so I saved a bit of money, but it was still a ridiculous, like... 730, 740 Canadian, something along those lines. I would need to double check the exact amount. Normally I wouldn't really need a new one. Actually, all my games run really, really smoothly. It's a weird technical problem where my GPU now maxes out at a lot of modern games. Yet the game still runs smooth as butter because my CPU pretty much handles everything else. I still have um, really, really strong CPU, as well as really, really fast RAM, and just everything runs smooth as butter. The problem, though, is that even if that's running great, you know what the CPU can't offset? That OBS, OBS, my streaming and recording software for a lot of these things, does require at least a little bit of your GPU. And so the game might be running smooth as butter on my monitor, but the stream of it is coming out choppy and laggy and awful to look at. And I always want to reinvest my money in the show whenever possible, and I don't really don't have the money to throw around, but it's a bit of an emergency. If I can't record and stream for you guys, then obviously it's a bit of a problem on my Let's Play and Streaming show. So I ordered a new one that's coming in. Uh, my old GTX 980 is actually still really good, but it has slowed down over the last four years of very, very heavy use. And so, you know, I'll be holding on to that and everything, but uh, the, when the 1080 comes in, I'll be using that. That should fix any of the problems. I think that that'll work pretty well. Um, I doubt I'll need to get another graphics card for a long time. It's just a shame. It's so much money. Um, on the upside, I should be able to stream more Far Cry 5 for you guys with less chance of frame dropping and in higher quality and whatnot. 
Uh, I can turn up the quality some more in XCOM 2. Not that it really matters, it's not the most beautiful game in the first place. But you know, I did notice there was the slightest little bit of choppiness on the stream and recording version of that. So I want to fix that up. And also I wanted to stream some uh, GTA online with Brandon and also have you guys join in on that because I've barely ever played it online, but Brandon says it's a lot of fun. Uh, but unfortunately, I even on the absolute lowest settings, the game run just ran smooth as butter on my computer, but OBS hated it, and it's because my GPU was maxing out. And I'm sure someone will say, like, have you tried other software and everything? I tried everything. I did clean installs of my drivers to make sure it wasn't that. It wasn't. I tried XSplit. On XSplit, it was a thousand times worse, because XSplit has always has had optimization issues. I tried everything under the sun. I deep cleaned my um, my graphics card to make sure it wasn't overheating because it wasn't telling me that it was overheating when I was looking at the temperature when I had it under heavy load. It was getting to like 80 Celsius if it was under a 100% load. And 80 Celsius is hot, but it's not hot to the point that it's gonna underperform. So I like deep cleaned the thing out because it was a bit dirty. And the temperature was still about the same, and the, the load was still the same, so it wasn't that. Fresh driver installs wasn't that. I did all kinds of little tests to make sure it wasn't other things, and the really telling thing was if the game dipped to 99% GPU usage, it looked perfectly normal on OBS, the exact same as on my main monitor that I'm playing the game. If it went up to 100%, just 1% higher, boom, choppy, ugly, horrible looking. So I, I tried everything, but that's what it's ruled down to. And I even tried figuring out like, hey, with CPU, you can have like a process list where it's like always prioritize this and this and this. Could I do something like that with GPU? No, it turns out graphics cards can't do that, unfortunately, at least as far as I could find online. So. Otherwise, I just tell it like, hey, instead of giving me one extra frame on this video game that's running fine, how about you give OBS the resources it needs? And no, you can't tell it to do that, unfortunately. So the GTX 1080 is coming in. It's a purchase I was going to have to make eventually anyway. It's just a shame for it to come at a time when money is quite bad. Um, on the upside, I can hold on to my old 980. It, it still does its job quite well if you're not running a video game show. And uh, one day when I build Fatima computer, uh, I like to hold on to old computer parts that are still quite good, just not good enough for my crazy power use I have to for my my show. Uh, I hold on to those so that, you know, I can use that when I build Fatima's computer sometime in the future. So it's not necessarily money lost that I didn't expect to lose. It's that I'm losing it at a time when I really can't afford to be losing money like that. So... Thanks again for all your Patreon money, because 450 American bucks just came in through Patreon, and although that doesn't quite cover the, graf the graphics card, and I'd rather spend that on my debt and stuff, um, if I didn't have Patreon, I probably wouldn't even be able to afford to live here. So thank you very much, so much for your continued support over on Patreon and on those affiliate links, whether it be Humble Bundle or Chrono.gg or the uh, um, Amazon affiliate links, they're all in the description. And I'm really happy that you guys use them so much because they really, really do help my income. But anyway, I need to get back to work on some other stuff, probably hanging out with Brandon a little bit uh, tonight, because again, I'm recording this the, the day before. Normally I record it on the Monday, it's just so busy this Monday. And I've got to make sure I get some decent sleep tonight, which never happens. Until next time, have a nice day.